So uh, I'm just going to put this down here, and now uh, I'm going to grab the the la the la the la the laser thing again here, and we're going to do this one right here again. So I'm going to uh, put it right there and turn it on, and make sure that the bubble is uh, in the middle of it, like right there, and then push in. Oh, wait. No, that didn't work there, so I'm going to I'm going to turn 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 it off and then take it away. Um, I'm going to turn it back on there um, and make sure that it's in the middle of it and then push in and then you can hear it stick. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here now and grab the tape again and measure this off here so that the tape is slightly longer. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to tape below this line here. So, come into the corner here. I'm gonna turn this off here. And that should come off there. And now, I'm just gonna uh, tape right below this there. So, I'm gonna grab my one inch blade right here and then run it across the top there. Once, work it into the corner, and then come back this way there. And you can always use your finger there too, okay? So now, next we're gonna come over here now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the, this out again, turn, turn, turn it on, and work it into the corner. And make sure that bubble is in the middle there. Make sure there is. So it's in the middle. Press in, and it's like that. Um, so now I'm going to take my uh, tape here and come over here. And the line is right there, so I want to go uh, just slightly on, a, on a top of it here. for a few seconds and then it just falls right off there. Um, so that's going to take care of this one here. I'm just going to run my finger along that edge there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take the uh, laser level here and do this one here. this off here and just let it and roll and just rotate it a little bit more turn it on it's right in the middle there and put it to the wall there so um, so that's so, so that's that now I'm gonna take the tape again here and now I'm gonna put the tape on the underside of the uh, laser line here put my finger in it like that and that unfurls the tape over there Turn this off. Wait a 
seconds and it just unleashes there. Um, and now we'll just come here and uh, do that there. So I'm gonna grab my uh, one inch blade again and just flatten out this, in this side here to the corner and then come back this way again here. And then we'll do this top one here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to come over, come over here and grab this paint right here. Now this is the blue paint right here that I used to uh, to put the uh, blue ba base coat up. It's ben it's Benjamin Moore, and uh, the uh, name of the paint is Jetstream. So now, now this this frog tape is is, is the best paint is the best paint or tape but again it's not going to work 100 per of the time so the best thing to do is to take the uh, base color paint and paint this edge here so that if any of the blue paint does get into this it's going to be the same color as the existing paint so it's going to so we're, we're in, in essence we're creating a seal with the right color because if i didn't use the blue paint first if i used the uh, white the, if any of the white did get through, it would show on, on the blue here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to paint this edge here. And we're going to stuff the paint in it uh, so that if any does get in, it'll, it'll at least be the uh, same color as the uh, wall here. Um, so just really like make sure that you like work the paint into the edge there. and just feather off the uh, bottom side there. So I did the inside of that, now we're gonna do the inside of uh, this one here. So I'm just gonna lay the paint down like that, come into the corner here, and work it. And work the paint into that edge there. Feather this off here, come back and load up, and then transfer this to here. Okay, um, so I'm going to do the same thing here to, to that area right over here again. Um, and again, this technique here is very important when I'm doing lines, either whether they're horizontal or vertical or diagonal. This, if you have the uh, base color paint, um, then you definitely want to uh, do this to ensure that you get a crisp, clean line with no bleed, bleed, bleed through. Um, so uh, we're just going to let this dry and then we'll be back to... To uh, to apply the uh, white paint in between the uh, the uh, two pieces of uh, yellow tape that I just applied.